The Death Star has long been criticized for its glaring, almost inexcusable design oversight, a gaping hole directly to the main reactor. These concerns are so prevalent in the fandom that a major thrust of Rogue One specifically sought to rectify this apparent problem by making the weakness a deliberate act of sabotage on the part of Galen Erso. That's fine, I guess, but the sentiment behind it is completely wrong, because honestly, even without the Galen Erso explanation, the Death Star might as well have been completely impenetrable, and there was never a problem with its so-called weakness. Because the movie already explains everything perfectly. It's a small thermal exhaust port right below the main port. This line alone goes a long way. Chiefly, it establishes that the Death Star has a main exhaust port, incidentally at its North Pole, that is decidedly not exploitable as a weakness. It's this tiny, seemingly inconsequential secondary exhaust port that is. And not only that, but Dodonna says a small thermal exhaust port, which leaves open the possibility for many more. Indeed, the schematic graphic that illustrates where the trench and exhaust port are located shows at least 12 trenches, all of which we can easily assume lead to their own small thermal exhaust ports. These trenches are visible on the Death Star itself, and if we count them on the shooting miniature, there are at least 18 such trenches, which suggests that the Death Star has not one exhaust port, but at least 19, one large main port and 18 small ports and that's just counting the ones in trenches near the North Pole. There could be dozens or hundreds or thousands of other exhaust ports all over the Death Star, but only one of them, taking up less than a hundred millionth of the Death Star's surface area, was a weakness. So even in a scenario, where without access to the plans, you independently decided that the Death Star's exhaust port was the weakness, you still have 19 targets to choose from at a bare minimum. The most logical one to exploit would be the main port, which apparently isn't a weakness. Neither are 17 of the small ports. Only this one can be exploited, which means you have a 1 in 19 chance of choosing the correct target. And again, that's assuming that there aren't more exhaust ports. From there, you actually have to get close and hit the target. Out of 30 Rebel ships, only two even got close, and they had literally the best case scenario for success. They knew exactly where the target was and exactly what the defenses were. So imagine you came to the Death Star without proton torpedoes, for instance. In that case, your chances of success are literally zero. Because when people say, well, why not put some kind of cover on that port? The exhaust port did have a cover. It had an energy shield that was impervious to apparently everything except for proton torpedoes. The shaft is ray shielded, so you'll have to use proton torpedoes. And we're not even considering that the shot may very well have been impossible. Luke may have used the force to influence the torpedoes to behave in a physics bending way. So realistically, even having the plans probably isn't enough for success. Altogether, even with our incredibly generous assumptions, the odds of choosing the correct target and successfully exploiting it are virtually impossible. In short, the weakness is not obvious. It's the only exploitable exhaust port out of many possibly visually identical non-exploitable exhaust ports. Secondly, the weakness is not easily exploited because it's heavily defended and specially shielded. And this is all told to us in the film. This isn't expanded universe stuff. This isn't from the incredible cross sections. This is exposition literally given minutes before the battle takes place. So to me, it's kind of hard to believe that this was ever an issue. We don't need Galen Erso to sabotage the Death Star to make this weakness believable. To me, it seems like they pretty perfectly covered their bases. But what are your thoughts? Am I missing something critical here? Are there factors that I didn't consider that strengthen or weaken my explanation? Or do you have explanations of your own? I'd love to hear them. As always, thank you all so much for watching and supporting me, and I'll see you next time.